Thanks for coming to Open Day today and braving the weather. Uh, my name's Graham Burgess. I'm the Strategic Operations Manager for the College of Engineering. And my aim for the next 30 to 40 minutes is to give you an insight into the Bachelor of Product Design. So the School of Product Design sits within the College of Engineering, which turns 130 years old this year. And it's fantastic to be supported by such an established and knowledgeable department. And the school itself became an official partner of the Lens Programme on Sustainable Design this week, uh, which is run out of Milan. And uh, this means now we're sharing design and creative resources with 95 other universities around the world. UC is responsible for developing graduates ready for the future, for a workplace or a career that in some, place, in some cases doesn't exist yet. And as such, in 2015, the College of Engineering engaged with schools and industry to identify key attributes for future graduates. Industry came and told us that they still needed graduates with specialist skills, experts in a particular field, uh, with deep understanding and knowledgeable about that field. But increasingly, they were asking for graduates that were creative thinkers, not just somebody who could follow prescribed steps, but adaptable graduates that can add value in all areas of business, from concept to delivery. And we'll hear from a very successful businesswoman later on who will tell us about how this works for her. They want graduates that are entrepreneurial, graduates that can work on the detail but also understand the bigger picture and are constantly looking to develop and add value to the companies they work for. And of course, they need to be technically literate. So to be able to come up with ideas or new products or, develop, or to develop existing products and have the technical understanding to develop that idea into a commercially viable product. And New Zealand itself can't just keep passing around the same money internally. We need to develop new streams of income. We can't double our income by producing more primary produce. Both intensive farming and tourism have limits and effects on the environment. We need to shift our productivity over to products that are aspirational and attractive to overseas buyers. And when we think about countries that do leading edge design, we think of Italy, Denmark, Sweden, France. But why not New Zealand? So to meet this demand, we created the Bachelor of Product Design. And from the pie chart, you'll see that our graduates are not just designers. They're modern graduates who have many strengths, including creative design, but equally technical and business savvy. The degree is made up of 37% design, so plenty of time for prototyping and getting hands-on designing and building projects. 46% science and engineering, gaining the technical skills to develop and judge the requirements and feasibility of products. And 17% business and marketing, giving students the understanding how to get products into the marketplace. You'll notice that we call this, um, this program STEM Light. This degree is for students that are interested in science, technology, engineering, and maths. Curious about it? Could do it as, form, as, as though it forms the basis of something that they do, but don't want to get heavily into calculus, for example. <coughs> this is Conan Fee. He's the, um, he's the head of the School of Product Design. He'll be there in a minute, promise. And uh, he flew to Europe a few weeks ago to spend the next three months visiting many of the major design universities. His aim is to bring the best of European design and teaching practice back to New Zealand. And he's also looking at developing possible student exchanges with some of the universities that he visits. And this is what he's got to say about the Bachelor of Product Design. Hi, I'm Colin Fee and I'm the head of the School of Product Design at the University of Canterbury. The Bachelor of Product Design is going to appeal to students who are creative, they have kind of inventive flair. They're the sort of student who would be interested perhaps in science, maybe in commerce, but they're not really wanting to specialise in those areas and really they're wanting to get out there with a, a broader degree which will actually help them create new things and take them to market. There are three majors in the Bachelor of Product Design. The first is Industrial Product Design which covers the design of things like uh, say an Nespresso coffee machine or a bicycle. The second is Applied Immersive Game Design which is gaming not just for entertainment but also for other things such as education or industry. And then the third is chemical, natural and healthcare product formulation which covers the design of everyday household things such as detergents, uh, perhaps cosmetics or even skincare. 
The program is a three-year degree and your time would be split between around a third design courses which gives plenty of scope for prototyping and hands-on design and build type projects. Uh, just under one half of supporting science and engineering which would give you um, the skills needed to judge the feasibility of a, of a product and one-sixth of business courses such as marketing which gives you the skills to realise how to get a product into the market. The Nespresso coffee machine is a really great example of industrial product design. It started about 40 years ago when it was first patented as an idea to bring barista style coffee into the home with convenience. But to actually make that work you needed to understand the science and engineering behind it, how to heat up the water, how to pump it through the system and so on. And it was a great functional product but it was only about 10 years ago that it actually took off in the market and when they really got to grips with the business model for how it worked. And that's why that blend of creative design, and, uh, science and engineering and business really need to come together in this degree. The university has recently undertaken a major building program to modernise the campus. Students in the School of Product Design will have access to the latest in learning spaces and technologies. A unique advantage at Canterbury is we have all the disciplines science, engineering, business and arts on one campus for the students to draw upon. Industry are telling us they are excited by this degree because of the unique blend of skills we're offering in the program. They're looking for creative graduates who can take an idea right from the initial concept through to the market. As a graduate of this program, you'll have the skills necessary to carve your own path, whether that's starting your own company or adding value to an existing business. So as Connor mentions in the video there, the uh, Bachelor of Product Design has three majors. Industrial Product Design, Applied Immersive Game Design, and Chemical, Natural and Healthcare Product Formulation. So product design or industrial designers create things on a human scale, not space stations or bridges, but things we interact with every day. And things like the Oboe helmet here. Uh, Oboe is a sports equipment company based in Palmerston North. And they develop body armor for sports, mostly hockey, and, um, and incredibly successful around the world. The Dyson vacuum cleaner here is, is obviously quite well known. And Conan actually met the head of design at the Dyson School um, of Design in London last week. Uh, the Nespresso machine that Conan mentioned, and we'll probably talk about that a wee bit more in a bit. Uh, but the guy riding the uni wheel on the end, um, and you see quite a lot of these around campus, students turning up on them. If you were the designer to create this, you'd have to understand the technical side of it. So what sort of battery does it use? How long could it travel for? Uh, how far can it go? Or how fast can it go? Or should it go? And um, how heavy should it be? Or what sort of weight it could carry? These are the sorts of um, problems that you'd have to consider. And it's these technical skills that is something that we offer that other design degrees don't. So that Nespresso. It's a great example of why creative design, science and engineering, and marketing have to be there for successful product. Nespresso started with an idea to give barista quality coffee at home, convenient, clean and easy. And it's a great idea and many people have these at home or in their offices. And the wonderful thing about product design is the creative process. You have free reign to design all sorts of products in any style. And uh, what you're looking for is the best look and the best feel. But there needs to be some science and engineering behind it to ensure it's, the product is not just a great idea conceptually, but it actually will work. You need to know enough science and engineering to understand how to heat up the water, control the flow rate, what kind of pump is needed to get the right sorts of pressure, what sort of materials should it be made out of and why. And finally, you need to ensure that it's robust but attractive, affordable but able to be manufactured. You don't necessarily do the full design, that's for an engineer to do. But you need to know enough to make sure the design is feasible before you hand it over to them to implement. So it's a great functional product, it's attractive, it certainly meets, the need of the, it meets all the needs of the consumer. But if you look at the sales curve, for the first 20 or 30 years, this was an unsuccessful product. It's not enough to make a great looking functional product and in fact, this product was uh, first painted in 1976. And by 1996, the paint had run out and there had been very few sales. 
What really made it hum was that marketing plan, the Nespresso clubs, the online sales, the Nespresso boutiques. They now have over 200 patents on products like the cups and the colored pods. And of course, if you throw George Clooney into the mix, that really helps your campaign. But the upshot is, it's the balance of creative design, science and engineering, business and marketing, that is critical to the success of any product. And this is the new critical path that we're taking in all our Bachelor of Product Design majors. It's a truly modern approach that prepares graduates for the modern world. All three of these majors give you the skills to work at a technical level or at a business owner level. And so as an industrial product design graduate, you could be a product manager, a marketing or sales manager, a product design manager, uh, or even an entrepreneur and a CEO. And it's this entrepreneurship that's really leading in, uh, in the business world at the moment. And as you progress through your studies or your career, you'll often join professional bodies and organizations. And these organizations are fantastic sources of communication, advice, and the opportunity to network with others. And a few of these for the industrial design could be uh, the Designers Institute of New Zealand, uh, the Employers and Manufacturers Association, New Zealand Manufacturers and Exporters, or Na Aho Māori Design Professionals. But don't also forget the social media side of things as well, the LinkedIn, the Facebooks, and the Twitters, because they're great avenues to keep in touch and up to date with industry and what's going on, and even job vacancies. Um, the Formway here, the Formway Life Chair on the end, uh, was developed by a chap called Jonathan Prince, who's a UC graduate here. He was the lead designer on this. And now it's sold by a company in America called Knoll, who sell uh, office furniture. They turn over 1.2 billion US dollars a year, and this is their biggest selling product. Applied Immersive Game Design. This area is exploding now. Entertainment games now have a higher global revenue than the entire movie industry. Movies are even being made out of games now. Take Assassin's Creed as an example. And uh, by 2020, the sales of virtual reality and augmented reality will be over 200 billion US dollars a year. And that's not trivial, and it's rapidly growing. And we've got the expertise here through UC, through our HIT lab, which is our human interface technology lab, and our Applied Immersive Game Design major to be part of this. Now, all the words in this major were chosen deliberately. Applied meaning games with a purpose. So that's whether for entertainment, rehabilitation, education, or industry training. Immersive, putting the user at the center of the experience. And game design, it's about making the games challenging to play, but rewarding enough to keep you playing and coming back for more. So here's an example of behavioral change through augmented reality, created by our own hit lab here. And these virtual spiders, you can pick them up, you can let them crawl up your arm. You can't squash them, sadly. Um, but hit lab, who's developed this, have actually supported us here today. So they've got a setup um, over in the engineering core of all this virtual reality stuff and uh, you can go over there and try this for yourself. This is another example of education through virtual reality, designed to let people experience a house fire firsthand. Now, you may have seen this on TV or even tried it yourself. Uh, it was a partnership between TVNZ, the New Zealand creative agency, FCB, and the New Zealand Fire Service. You've walked into your lounge uh, to find it's on fire. Now we're in real trouble. This is happening pretty quickly. Oh, God, fire is on the roof now. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? The fire's over my head. That was horribly fast. I'm sweating, and I didn't make it out. We all think we're prepared, but chances are we're not. I didn't expect that at all. I just completely underestimated how quickly it spread. It's extremely real. There's the fire out here, the kids' room. Escape My House is the gripping interactive experience that takes place inside a real house fire. I've got the washing which is on fire next to the fireplace. The flames just licked right up on the ceiling. That was quite terrifying. It was intense. And now it's your turn. You're trying to focus but you're not thinking straight, not thinking clearly. This gives you a true glimpse of what it's like. How will you escape? This could actually save my life. Everyone should honestly try this. Find out at escapemyhouse.co.nz
So TVNZ gave away 4,500 pairs of Google Cardboard headsets so people could try this at home. Here's another example. It's my last example for virtual reality. I just want to show you this because I have it running in my office. Um, it's running on a system called HTC Vive and, um, and they're using a system called Tilt Brush painting in the virtual world. And uh, so what you see on the screen is actually what they're seeing in the headsets. So as you can imagine, I get a lot of work done. So uh, graduates could um, find themselves working as applied uh, immersive game designers or consultants, user interface designers, which uh, a lot of companies are employing at the moment to help them with their websites and their interaction with customers, um, product managers, marketing sales, product designers, or again, start your own companies. And uh, looking at some other opportunities, the government is proposing to shift education into a digitally orientated system. And the education minister announced a few weeks ago the government would spend $40 million on raising teachers' skills to be able to deliver the new digital curriculum. And now this new curriculum will cover areas like computational thinking and design and developing digital outcomes. And these are likely to include computer programming as well as a unique Maori content. And the Principals Federation applauded the announcement, uh, saying that they only had 4,000 of the 100,000 teachers currently that they had, had the skills to put this vision into practice. So if you're interested in teaching um, or exploring that as an idea, maybe once you've finished the Bachelor of Product Design, um, this could be a, a great pathway for you into teaching. To help you as well, the College of Education are offering scholarships of the whole course fees, plus a $10,000 to encourage you after you've finished the Bachelor of Product Design to go and be a teacher in digital space or technology. So again, th there are plenty of professional bodies that uh, you can join as you study or as you move into your career. Um, the Gamers um, Developers Association, the Institute of IT Professionals, and again, Na Aho Maori Design Professionals as well. And finally, chemical, natural, and healthcare product formulation. This is the only major of its type in Australasia. This is about all those things that you buy in a bottle or a package, whether that's slow release fertilizer, paint and varnish, or skincare products, shampoo, or beauty products. And just keep in mind that the, uh, the personal care and household product market is worth about a trillion US dollars a year. And natural products are worth around 1.4 billion New Zealand dollars to the New Zealand economy every year. And so how do we formulate and design products with a given viscosity or a certain skin feel or a particular fragrance? And how do we make it safe to use and stable as an emulsion on the shelf? These are all the skills you'll cover in this major. So here's a quick example of um, some software that's designed to create new perfumes and fragrances. It's called the Perfumers Workbook Formulation Software. It has a huge database of chemical components that can be selected, including a range of natural products. You'll then use the software to create a blend of these for a particular fragrance, maybe a vanilla or a rose. And then the software populates a recipe, even telling you how much to blend if all you want to do is to make a prototype. You can then check to see if the components are compatible with certain uses. So maybe you want to make a lipstick or a shampoo or chewing gum, a new chewing gum flavor or household bleach. 
um, the program identifies what you can't use for a given application. It then adjusts the flavor components to create a similar product, but containing only those components that are compatible with your application. You can even tell it only to use natural products. So you can see why you need to know a bit of chemistry for this, but not to the extent of being able to chemically make the components, but enough to understand what the components are and how to formulate them. And it's not just about the stuff in the bottle, but it's the whole lifestyle that the consumer is buying into. So is that the sun sand surf market, that exclusive premium lifestyle market, the natural fresh cleansing market? I know. It's all about developing a point of difference. I'd like to introduce to you another blank square. Uh, this time it's Brianne West, and her company, Atik, has its very own unique point of difference. And this is what she has to say about the Bachelor of Product Design. Hi, I am Brianne from Atik. Atik is the world's most sustainable cosmetics company. That's our goal, and we want to rid the world of plastic waste. We produce solid beauty bars instead of liquid shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, uh, pretty much anything you would find in your bathroom. I left university with a Bachelor of Science um, in Biology, working out how to formulate products. That was relatively easy. I just learned all about ingredients and, and what they did and then put some stuff together. I had nothing about anything else. You know, I didn't know how to manage people, I didn't know how to do administration. I had no knowledge about accounts or sales or anything else. I, I was flying blind a lot of the time. And it would have been really useful if I just had just an overall grounding in, in lots of other things. Having all those different skills is going to be much more useful in the real world than just being good at organic chemistry or whatever. To my knowledge, this is the only degree like it in the country, and because of that, there'll be a great demand for graduates. For having people who go through this degree, they will be able to talk to you about marketing to an extent, or design, or, and again, product formulation. So when you hire an intern, you're also going to get some other opinions about things around your company. And that's really important, particularly when you have a small team, to be able to ask every person what they think about something. So I'm not sure if you've heard of a teak, but um, it's used by the likes of Britney Spears, Ashton Kutcher use it. It appeared in the Hollywood giveaway bags this year as well. Um, I think she's, was, I read somewhere the other day that she'd saved 150,000 plastic bottles from being used in, in, in the beauty industry. So um, she's incredibly well known and incredibly successful businesswoman. And we're lucky enough that she's actually on our board of industry advisors as well. So as a, um, as a chemical, natural, and healthcare product formulation um, student you, or, or graduate, you could um, take a career in product formulation and manufacturing, but more broadly into any industry that employs graduates with scientific backgrounds. So that could be a formulation scientist, a quality manager, laboratory technician, um, products and manufacturing manager, and again, marketing um, formulations. And, um, and, and again, we encourage you to start your own companies. Um, from a professional organization point of view, they've got a whole range of tongue twisters up there that I'm not going to try and, um, and read out to you. But there's plenty of support out there in industry and, um, and we, we would encourage people to join these organizations and take advantage of that. What I'd like to do now uh, is to go back and look at this split of design, business, science, and engineering, and give you a quick flavor of the courses that you will take in each major. And you'll see that this split is consistent across all our majors with just the right balance. And this is something that's unique to the Bachelor of Product Design degree. And you'll see as we go through, depending on the major, you'll study things like a little material science and computer-aided design, or chemistry, formulation, and natural product properties, or computer science and interface design along with game design. And note that we've got on here the double-weighted product design courses in each year. You'll be making prototypes and testing them out, utilizing our maker spaces or the, computer, the gaming computers or consoles, or I'm working out in our formulation labs. This is hands-on. You'll be building your first game in your first semester in your first year. So this is the proportion for uh, industrial product design. 
and the proportion of science and engineering that you'll do. This is the proportion of the design that makes up that year. And this is the proportion of uh, business. So you can see the balance and how it's split across the papers. This is the split for the applied immersive game design, the science and engineering, design, and the business. See, they're quite similar. And finally, the chemical, natural, and healthcare product formulation, the science, the design, and the business. So from this, you can see the consistent blend of science, engineering, creative design, and business that spans across all the majors. And it's this blend that's an integral part of the degree's uniqueness. So entry requirements. It's amazing. I can hear you're all desperately keen to come and join us. Um, all you need is university entrance. We do recommend, to make your life easier in that first year, that you have at least 14 credits in NCEA Level 2 Maths and Science. And if you intend to take the Chemical, Natural and Healthcare product formulation, uh, that you ideally have 14 credits in Level 3 NCEA Chemistry. And if you have NCEA credits in related subjects, such as digital technologies, technology, or design and visual communication, uh, that would be an advantage to you as well. And I know this is very general uh, information, but if you do need some more tailored information around your circumstances, then I encourage you to give our student advisors a shout. So a quick summary. It's a three-year degree program. It's a fantastic mix of creative, technical, and business subjects. You can start straight out of high school, or you can come via our engineering intermediate year. And, uh, and if you want to keep your options open so that you could potentially do engineering or come and do product design, I really encourage you to talk to the student advisors to make sure that you're taking the right papers to leave your options as open as you can. We do have scholarships. And we've got 10 product design scholarships to give away. They're $10,000 each. And uh, an application process, your, or your applications, uh, would be assessed on a mix of NCEA performance or results and a small portfolio. And that could be uh, a school project that you've done or something that you've worked on at home. Uh, it could be uh, a media or a graphic design program or a mobile phone app or even just a business idea that you've had. Something that you're proud to show us displays your innovation and creativity and the quality of your work. Our first intake is in 2018. And again, all you need is UE. So if there's anything that I've said that excited you, then, uh, then you, you can join us. You can, you can actually start your enrollment process today. And you go to my UC page on the University of Canterbury website and take those first steps.